you guys are welcome back and um in this question in the next video we'll be talking about the anatomy the uh, the anatomy of the clevius and the medical legal importance of the clevius all right so just stick uh stick with me as we walk through this anatomy and the medical legal importance of the clevius all right so the question in proper i'll say that it's called the anatomy of clevius uh, first of all is the anatomy of the clevius and add a note on the medical legal importance discuss the anatomy of the clevius and add a note on the medical legal importance of the clevius so how do you go about this guys let's proceed uh, first of all is uh, we, we always use images on our channel because um, images are stuff that you remember you remember so easily or how would i put it yeah when when you relate with the image even when you don't have uh, the right up you can like form yours okay so um this is this is an image showing the inner part of the skull and here we have uh, the clevis that we are talking about okay and you can see that the clevis is formed uh, by 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 the sphenoid bone and by the basilar part of the occipital bone and you could see the petrous uh, petrous part of the temporal bone and so on and so forth so many things to relate with here okay so let's proceed all right let's proceed we say that the clevis what is a clevis uh, the clevis is a sloping surface sorry it is not looping the clevis is a sloping okay the clevis is a sloping surface in front of the foramen magnum all right you could see that it is slopy all right slopy in front of foramen magnum this foramen this empty space you see here is the foramen magnum so that the clevis is a sloping surface in front of the foramen magnum it is formed by the fusion of the posterior part of the sphenoid bone with the basilar part of the occipital bone posterior posterior part of the sphenoid bone and the basilar part of the occipital bone these two surfaces form the clevius, um, form the clevius that we are talking about. And now this is another image um, talking about showing the clevius. Sorry, and uh, you could see that the clevius is a sloping. You could see that this place is like slopy. Okay, the clevius is a sloping area. You could see the internal acoustic meatus. You could see the hypoglossal canal. You could see the foramen magnum. You can see the group for, uh, for sigmoid sinus. You can see the internal occipital crest. You can see the group for transverse sinus. You can see the internal occipital protuberance. And you can see the jugular uh, tubercle. All these are just uh, just some extra knowledge for you, okay? But the main thing for you to know is the is the position of the of the clevius, okay? It's a sloping area in front of the foramen magnum. All right, so let's proceed. We say that it is separated from the petrous temporal bone by the petrous occipital fissure. Uh, the petrous occipital fissure it ends at the jugular foramen. It forms the posterior boundary of the middle cranial fossa. All right. It forms the back of the middle, and definitely it will form the front of the back. I don't know if you understand. Okay. It forms the posterior boundary of the middle cranial fossa and it forms the anterior boundary of the posterior cranial fossa if the posterior cranial fossa is coming after the middle cranial fossa and the clevis is forming the back of the middle cranial fossa definitely it will be in front of the posterior cranial fossa i don't know if you are relating okay so let's proceed this is another image showing the clevis all right i could see the definition is simply it is a sloping area in front of the foramen magnum okay and when you define it like that you are just uh you are just good to go all right so i think next we'll be looking at the medical legal importance of the clevius but let's proceed all right so first of all we'll look at the relations of the of the clevius okay uh, most images i have here is only the the, the osteology i don't have images that have all these um contents but when you look at the image of the clevis that have the content you can see that anteriorly 
The clevis is related to the basilar plexus of veins. And posteriorly, the clevis is related to um, the pons and medulla. Okay. Now, what is the medical legal importance of this clevis that we are talking about? How uh, was the importance of um, of clevis medically? It's not all about just studying the structure, but you, it's good for you to know uh, the importance of this structure medically. So, what is the medical legal importance? See that the basis phenoid joint, okay, that's a joint around the clevis. Is of medical legal importance in determining the age of the individual. All right. So let me say in younger adults or stuff, it is a primary cartilaginous joint. Okay. With just a plate of hyaline cartilage between the sphenoid and the basilar part. And you can see that at the age of 25, the basisphenoid joint from the cartil cartilage. It becomes bony okay so let's look at that properly another image of the clevius sloping area in front of the foramen mark you no know, i always use uh, we always use pictures on our channel because when we talk about something we now dilute it with pictures if you don't understand if you understand picture you are good to go okay so let's go we say that the cartilaginous plates that's at the basis phenol joint is completely replaced by bone by the age of 25 years so that's the medical legal importance of the clevius is using determining age all right once you maybe if you are able to access the clevis of someone i see that it is totally ossified it is all bony just know that the person is from 25 years above okay when you access the clevis i see that it is still um, at the cartilaginous stage you know that the person is below 25 years. That's the medical legal importance of the clavius. Okay, so with that, um, we are done with uh, a second um, question. Um, what is the anatomy of the clavius and the medical legal importance of the clavius? So see you guys in the next question, guys. Bye for now.